Genetic modification is one of the largest emerging sciences. A genetically modified organism, or GMO, is an organism that has had its DNA altered or modified in some way through genetic engineering. It is currently being used for medical, industrial and agricultural advancements. It is also widely accepted that it could be the cure for world hunger. For these reasons, I decided to focus on it for my depth study. More specifically, I chose to focus on an ingenious invention called the Arctic Apple. This company genetically engineered an apple that doesn't brown. Apples contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. This is partially responsible for its aroma and taste. But when an apple is damaged, this enzyme interacts with polyphenol oxidase from other parts of the cell. This interaction produces a brown melanin. Arctic introduced genes with a significantly reduced production of polyphenol oxidase into leaf tissue of apple trees. This tissue is then grown under extremely specific conditions. Once this leaf tissue has grown into sprouts, they graft, or in layman's terms, implant them into woodstock. This process means that Arctic apples produce little to no polyphenol oxidase. As a reaction does not occur without enough of the enzyme, the apple does not brown. And so unbrowning apples were created. Unfortunately, some tests are unsuccessful, and 40% of apples are thrown out. But in future, this number will decrease as it becomes easier to complete the method. A study performed in six public middle school cafeterias in Wayne County, New York, was used to test the effect of offering pre-sliced fruit in schools on selection and intake. They found that the schools that used fruit slices to pre-slice fruit increased average daily apple sales by 71% compared to control schools. They drew the conclusion that, and I quote, sliced fruit is more appealing to children than whole fruit because it is easier and tidier to eat. This study provides an example of a scalable, low-cost environmental change that promotes healthy eating and decreases waste. This shows a direct correlation with the slicing of fruit and its consumption. These apples are identical to others in every way, except for the product of polyphenol oxidase. Apples are fat-free, saturated fat-free, trans fat-free, cholesterol-free, and sodium-free. They contain 5% of the daily recommended value of vitamin C, and also contain potassium. This means that they have been found to reduce risk of stroke. The results of a study in U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health suggests that the intake of apples is related to a decreased risk of thrombotic stroke. Reduced risk of diabetes has also been shown to reduce the risk of diabetes. An article in the British Medical Journal showed findings that suggested the presence of heterogeneity in the association between individual fruit consumption and the risk of type 2 diabetes. This showed that greater consumption of specific whole fruits like apples is significantly associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. And Arctic apples are no different. It has been shown to contribute to the prevention of dementia, lower levels of cholesterol, the improvement of neurological health, lower chances of breast cancer, and help with obesity. All of which I unfortunately do not have enough time to go into. I will leave a link in the description. To sum it up, the apple is a health powerhouse. Multiple studies have proven its many health benefits, and as such, an increase in it in your diet can only bode well for your future. There is a clear correlation between the slicing of fruit and its consumption. Along with this, the many health benefits of consuming apples show that if we slice apples, the benefits to our society's health would be exponential. If we can cut an apple and it will remain unbrowned for a significant amount of time, then people will have a longer amount of time to consume said fruit, increasing the likelihood of its complete consumption. There are many questions about the risk of GMOs to our health. And as I've just concluded, I would like to quickly address a couple of these, but I would strongly recommend going to the World Health Organization's page for more detail. Link in the description. According to the WHO, the safety of genetically modified food are assessed by their direct health effects, toxicity, potential to provoke allergic reaction, allergenicity, specific components thought to have nutritional or toxic properties, the stability of the inserted gene, nutritional effects associated with the genetic modification, and any unintended effects which could result from the gene insertion. WHO also states there are three main issues of concern for human health, 
these being allogenicity, as a matter of principle, the transfer of genes from commonly allergenic organisms to non-allergenic organisms is discouraged unless it can be demonstrated that the protein of the transferred gene is not allergenic. Currently, no allergic effects have been found relative to GM foods on the market. Gene transfer. Gene transfer from GM foods to cells of the body or to bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract would cause concern if the transfer genetic material adversely affects human health. Outcrossing. The migration of genes from GM plants to conventional crops or related species in the wild. You can read more about these concerns on the WHO's or World Health Organization's website. As I have said, no allergic effects have been found relative to GM foods currently on the market. I do not believe that there is great risk in Arctic apples. So what I believe we have here is a product that could exponentially help human health through its ability to unbrown. Thank you.